Hey everybody, this is Crustal Snapdragon back again with another Mix It Up Bot tutorial and sort of a mixer tutorial as well. I have been trying to procrastinate this tutorial for a little while because it is going to be a lot, so you better buckle in. So we're going to be creating our mix play board and it's going to require you to sort of go between mixer and the Mix It Up bot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go create the board itself, sort of the layout and the look of it is what we're going to do first. So first you want to go to Mixer.com and you want to go, if you click your avatar, all the way down to the bottom where it says Dev Lab. Next, you're going to want to click Mix Play Project. And if you don't have any already, just click Create New Project. And you can name it. I'm going to name it Tutorial. And you can choose the project game, but the project game really doesn't matter. So we're just going to do IRL and save. This only matters if you're looking to publish your mix play board because you can actually publish what you've done so that others can install it on their own streams. But we're not going to worry about that. So next we're going to go to build. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our buttons, which are the buttons that are pressed on the board to make certain events happen, and we're going to create the layout. You want to do all of this first and foremost. It's probably going to take the most amount of time. So here, this is our mix play board. Okay, This is where you're going to put all the buttons that your viewers interact with. If we look over here, you have a panel called Scenes. If you've gone to another person's stream and you saw maybe a scene called GIFs and you press the button and it took you to a whole other board, that's what a scene is. So I'll show you how to do that. And then controls, those are the buttons that you place on the board. So let's just say we have a scene called GIFs so that when somebody presses a button called GIFs, it takes them to a whole different board dedicated to GIFs. Let's create a few controls and you can also create labels. So first, a lot of people have their social media on their boards. So let's create a label. You can do several things. You can also create a text box, joystick, mouse, button, and label. You might not use the joystick, mouse, and text box unless you play highly interactive games. So I think we're just going to stick with the button and the label here. So we're going to make a label, give it a name, press add, and you'll see it has this red exclamation mark. Hit the arrow here. You have to give it a text for the exclamation mark to go away. I would leave the text size as default and you can choose its color. We'll make it pink. And then just hit the X. Don't, don't hit the trash can. Hit the X. Okay. Now to put this onto the grid here, we're going to just drag it. And then you can manipulate the size of it by pulling the circles here. You can manipulate how long it is and how much width it has. And that's going to look like a label. And let's just say a lot of people have their Twitter. So we're going to create a button here so that when a viewer hits this button called Twitter, it's going to generate a chat message with your Twitter link. So we're going to hit add. Again, red exclamation until you give it designated text. You can also give it a spark cost if you want to. I would leave the text size as default, but you can choose the color and you can choose the background color and you can even give it a background image to customize it further. The background image though is designated by the image address. You don't put the image on your computer. You get the address from Google or from Giphy. You can use Giphy's by the way as background images and just drop their address in here. Okay, so we're gonna put Twitter on our board under social media. And a lot of people also make spark dumps for instance on their board. You can for instance, let's make the GIF board here. We're going to do add button. And then whenever your viewers hit the GIF button, it's going to take them to a completely different scene called GIFs. And I'll show you how I do that. So this is what you want to do first. Make your board and make sure you save it, by the way. It's not going to let you save if you have the red exclamation marks. So make sure you save it. Okay, you have to save it. It does not auto-save, so make sure you save it. 
Okay, so here is what a completed board looks like. Here are all my buttons for all my social media. Here are the buttons for gratuity. A lot of people, again, just have spark dumps and I have a shameless self-promotion. And here are my different scenes. You can see I have an SFX scene and a GIF scene. These are corresponding with the different scenes over here on the left, okay? And you can actually switch between them. You'll see here's my default board. And let's say that a viewer hits SFX, then they're gonna see this board dedicated to SFX. If you make different scenes that you want your viewers to be directed to, you gotta make a home button to redirect them back. Okay, just something to keep in mind. You can have as many scenes as you want. Okay, so this is what you wanna do first and foremost. And again, make sure you save. Just get all your buttons together, all your different scenes. And the next thing we're gonna do is go to mix it up. And we're going to make it so that whenever a viewer presses a button, it spawns a particular event. Okay, so for instance, if the viewer pressed the wiggle GIF, it's going to spawn the wiggle GIF on the mix it up overlay. Okay, so now we're in the mix it up bot. And the first thing you need to do if you haven't already is go down to services, overlay, and add this overlay as a browser source to your OBS. Next, we're gonna go to mix play. And at first you're not gonna see anything because you have to choose your board. So you go here to the drop down, choose the correct board, mine's Crystal Snapdragon, and then you'll see all your buttons. If you didn't save, you're not gonna see these. So you have to save your board. You have to save it. Okay. So you can see I've already created all my commands. If you watch my previous Mix It Up bot tutorials, you will have no problem making these, but I'll go through a few of them. So here, if you have a button that you haven't added a command for yet, it'll say add command. I don't have the giveaway button on my board, so I'm not gonna make it, but it'll say add command until you've added a command. And let's just say that we want the Twitter button. So when somebody presses the Twitter button, I want it to spawn a chat message with my Twitter link. To do that, you would go to add command, basic chat command, you'd give it a spark cost if you wanted to have one, I'm just gonna say zero, and you definitely want a cooldown. You always want a cooldown. And then you're going to write the chat message that you want to be spawned into your stream chat. So it's gonna say, please feel free to follow my Twitter. I update it often and then write your Twitter link. Okay, and save. Now, one thing to note, you can also make it whisper the person if you don't want it just spamming and crowding up your stream chat. Okay, so that's the Twitter button. That's just your basic chat command. And I did it for my YouTube, I did it for my stream loots, I did it for my Instagram, I put in my donation link and my Discord link. So those are, those are pretty easy to work with. Next, say you wanna do a shout out button. A lot of the mixed play boards and other streams have a shout out button. So if you spend a certain amount of sparks, you can shamelessly self promote, if you will. And so to do that, you would go back to add command you would do basic chat command, give it a spark cost. Mine's at 500,000. You can give it a cooldown. We should probably give it a cooldown. I'm gonna say 500. And here, to make the shout out command, if you haven't watched any of my previous Mix It Up bot tutorials, there are these things called special identifiers that act as commands to generate particular things that you want to show. So this money sign username is a special identifier that generates the name of the person who triggered the command. And then user URL generates the mixer link of the person who triggered the command. And so I have here username has decided to shamelessly self promote, please give this wonderful streamer a follow, and then it's going to generate their username. And I will of course put these special identifiers on the bottom of the screen so you can see them in larger font. 
and just save. So that's the shameless self-promotion button. But a lot of people also have spark dumps. And the spark dumps are kind of, you have to get creative with it a little bit. This one is an advanced command. If you've watched any of my other videos, I have a video, again, dedicated to creating events using the advanced command here. So I've created it so that when somebody spark dumps, it says, thanks for dumping those sparks on me, but it also generates an overlay. So it's gonna generate a video. <laughs> Don't pay attention to all those, pay attention to this. Are you ready? So now when somebody spark dumps, it's going to go ahead and automatically generate that video because of how I set it up here. So if you want to see how to do this, work with the Mix It Up Bot overlay to generate GIFs and to generate videos and text and images, please watch my Creating Event Alerts video for the Mix It Up Bot. Okay, so that was how to create your social media buttons, your shameless self-promotion, and how to create a spark dump. A spark dump you're going to have to get creative with. Next, what we want to do is set it so that when you hit the GIF button, it takes you to a different scene. And the way to do that, if we go to GIFs, this is going to be an advanced command again. I'm going to go to GIFs. We're going to go to Edit. And down here in the Action panel, you're going to go to Mix Play. I've already done it here. And you're going to add it, choose Type, and do Move user to scene okay so this is going to move the user to the gif board when they've hit the gif button you need to make sure that the scene name that you give it here is the exact name of the scene you have in the mix play board and then you don't really have to add this here you just want to give it the name and the type is move user to scene and save you do have to give it a valid spark cost, just put zero. Okay, you want to do that same with SFX. If you have an SFX board, you want to move user to scene SFX. Okay, so now what you need to do is you also want to set up all your buttons for your other scenes. So we're going to go to the GIF, GIFs here. I have a lot of GIF buttons, as you can see. But importantly, I made a button to take the viewer back to the default home board. Same thing, you'd go to Action, Mix Play, Move User to Scene. The default home board is just called Default. So you would say Scene Name Default, and that way when they hit the Home button, it's going to send them back home. Now we also have a lot of other things. We have GIFs that can come up here. Again, please watch my video on how to make event alerts because I go into detail on how to make it so that GIFs spawn on screen. So you're basically doing the same thing. You go to action, you go to overlay images and videos, you choose image, you choose the file for the GIF that you want to come up on the screen, and then whenever somebody presses that GIF, it's gonna play it on screen. Okay, don't pay attention to the other overlays. Those are from making other videos. Okay, so let's say that you've created all your buttons for your mix play board. You're ready to see what it looks like. In order to see what it looks like and in order to have your viewers interact with it, you're gonna have to connect it every time you go live. Okay, if you make any changes to your board, also make sure to refresh it, okay? You have to refresh it for any changes to take place. And then you wanna connect it. Here's my board, right here, okay? So if I were to hit Twitter, it spawns my Twitter link in the chat. If I were to hit Spark Dump, and I'm not gonna use my, my Sparks here, it would generate the Spark Dump video you can also do the shameless self-promotion. And again, this is what happens when you have the scenes, right? So if I hit SFX, it takes me to a whole board 
dedicated to SFX. If I hit home, it takes me back to my default home board and you can see that these buttons are in cooldowns and that is pretty much it. It's really easy once you get used to it and you get a handle on it. I also have a gift board here. If you need any more help, please let me know by going to my Discord.